The DTEC 200C is an intuitive radar and magnetic induction scanner with a maximum detection depth of 200 millimeters, designed to be used on almost all materials, allowing accurate spot detection, material type discrimination, material depth, leak detection, as well as many other features. The sensor technology accurately detects metal, both ferrous and non-ferrous, electrical cables, wooden objects such as studs, as well as water-filled and empty plastic pipes. It is also able to detect cavities. The product is a simple to use product, but it's important to understand all the functions in order to select the correct setting for the appropriate substrates and the task at hand. This will ensure the most accurate results. First, let's switch the product on. This is done via the single button on the front of the interface here. The DTEC 200C is dual power, meaning it can be powered by the professional 12 volt lithium ion battery or with double A's via the double A battery adapter. Once the product is booted up, we can select the correct material that matches the surface we wish to scan. This is done via the left and right directional buttons. There are currently seven different modes. The first one is brick universal, designed for brick as well as other generic materials. Next up is concrete. This is designed for dry concrete. You can set the maximum detection depth between 80 and 200 millimeters. Empty plastic pipes less than 20 millimeters in diameter may not be detected. Early age concrete. This is for concrete that is not fully dried. New concrete less than six months on average. Metal objects are displayed up to a maximum of 60 millimeters. However, due to the high moisture content, distinction between live and voltage free conductors may not always be possible. Drywall, suitable for detecting timber joists and metal supports, as well as electrical cables. Filled plastic pipes and wooden beams may appear identical on the display. Panel heating, this wall type is especially suitable for detecting metal and metal composite, as well as water-filled plastic pipes and electrical cables. Empty plastic pipes are not displayed. The final types are similar, so select the appropriate variation. We have horizontal coring and vertical coring brick. These wall types are especially suitable for applications in perforated bricks. It displays flat lying metal objects, electrical and other cables, as well as water filled plastic pipes up to a maximum measuring depth of 50 millimeters. Cavities or empty plastic pipes may not be displayed. Once you have selected the appropriate material type, use the center button to confirm. Now you can select the view mode. The DTEC 200C has four main modes. Top of the list is spot view. In this mode, the DTEC 200C will immediately provide measuring results as soon as a tool is placed in contact with the detection surface. This is done without moving the measuring tool over the substrate. It is therefore particularly suitable for measurements in corners or narrow places. The measuring tool has a maximum detection depth of 60 millimeters. If no object is found, only the outer circle will appear on the display and it will light up green. If there is an object nearby, the outer circle will light up red. The closer the measuring tool is to an object, the number of circles will increase. Direction arrows are displayed if the signal strength is sufficient. You will see both a horizontal and vertical crosshair when directly over the center of an object. By moving the tool in a number of horizontal or vertical passes, the material properties can be determined, but without depth information. These will be color coded in the middle of the circle when directly over the object, together with a symbol at the bottom of the screen. Yellow indicates a live object. Blue indicates a magnetic metal, such as reinforcing steel. Turquoise colors are for non-magnetic metal, i.e. copper pipe. And white is for non-metal materials, such as wood and plastic. If the display comes up gray, that is for an unknown material. The second mode is object view mode. This offers the best possible measurement results and the maximum measuring depths. Once you start scanning, you will see on the top of the display is a ruler. This shows you the distance from where you started the scan. The detected objects are displayed along with depth information shown on the right side scale and highlighted when directly over an object. If available, the material type of the object is displayed at the bottom of the screen when directly over the center of this object. Place the measuring tool on the substrate and move via the small wheels in the direction of travel. Measuring results are shown on the display after a minimum measuring path of approximately 10 centimeters. Always move the measuring tool in a straight line while applying light pressure to the substrate so that the wheels remain in contact with the wall. Move the measuring tool back and forth slowly over the entire area to be checked and observe the measuring results. The measuring path should be at least 40 centimeters. You may notice in certain circumstances numerous signals that are very close to each other. This is called ghosting. However, if you continue to make multiple passes over this area, you will notice most of these signals will disappear. 
The more information you provide the DTEK 200C, the more accurate the results will become. On the screen, you'll see two dotted lines and a solid line in the middle. The dotted lines represent the outer edges of the DTEK, while the center line represents the middle of the tool. There are three white marks on the housing, so you're able to accurately mark the objects, locations on surfaces. If you lift the measuring tool away from the wall during the measurement process, the last measuring result obtained remains on the display. If you press the camera icon on the tool, this will save the entire scan as an image file that can be viewed in the DTEX gallery or downloaded to your computer via USB. The USB-C port is situated on the side of the tool, along with a micro SD card for additional storage. When you place the tool back on the wall and start scanning, the previous scan will automatically be cleared. The next mode is Signal View 2D. The Signal View 2D indicates the signal strength at each measuring point in combination with signal depth. Signal View 2D can be used to locate closely adjacent objects and to better assess complicated material structures. Finally, we look at Signal View. The Signal View displays the signal strength at each measurement point, but without depth information. The maximum signal strength represents the closest surface of the object. Signal View can be used to locate closely adjacent objects and to better assess complicated material structures based on this signal path. In this mode, we can also switch to Leak Detection Signal View mode. Here we can see the relative material moisture of the surface displayed. It is therefore suitable for locating the point of maximum material moisture and thus possible leakage. Signal View and Signal View 2D in many ways is the raw data and not interpreted by the DTEK 200C, like when used in Object View. This may require more experience to read and understand. However, after removing the DTEK from the wall, you can cycle through the display through Object View and both Signal Views to view the results without having to rescan. The DTEK 200C can also do distance measurement. This can be selected here via the menu. Move the measuring tool over the wall in a straight line in the required direction while applying uniform pressure. The distance from the starting point is continuously measured. The measured value shown on the display is the distance from the starting point for the current measurement, not the total distance traveled. If necessary, press the red button to delete the displayed measured value and to start new measurements. The menu can be accessed at any time by pressing the top left button. The arrow buttons are used to navigate and the center red button to enter. Images are stored in chronological order, divided by day. Device settings can be used to alter how the information is displayed. Toggle with or without a ruler, object depth or safe drilling warnings, alter the date as well as change measurement units. Considerations and tips when using the 200C. Before switching on the measuring tool, ensure that the sensor area is dry. If necessary, use a dry cloth to dry the measuring tool. If the measuring tool has been exposed to significant temperature changes, please leave it to adjust to the ambient temperature before switching it on. Ensure that the sensor area is clear from damage and do not apply stickers to this area. Turn on the tool before placing it on the wall. As the DTEK 200C utilizes radar and electromagnetic induction, it cannot penetrate foil, metal back panel, or metal foil wallpapers. You will likely receive a false object detection across the entire area. The following is especially important when attempting accurate live wire detection. Remove rings and metal jewelry such as watches to reduce potential interference. Beware of potential electromagnetic interference such as active Wi-Fi routers, mobile phones, etc. Static electricity can cause wires to be detected inaccurately. You may find a false reading over a large area or it may prevent them from being detected at all. To improve detection, place your free hand flat on the wall near the measuring tool, but not too close, in order to remove static electricity. If you're wearing insulating gloves, remove them. To vastly improve live wire detection, ensure that current is flowing by switching on electrical items such as room lights and other appliances that are connected to nearby plug sockets in order to produce sufficient electromagnetic fields surrounding the wire for the DTEK 200C to find. Please bear in mind that in certain conditions, live wires cannot always be detected, such as behind metal surfaces or behind surfaces with high water content. Please consider this when assessing the working area prior to scanning. On the topic of humidity, high humidity can affect the accuracy of the results. The tool can only operate in no more than a maximum of 90% non-condensing humidity for reliable detection of objects. 
In order to maximize detection of electrical wires and cabling, scanning is best performed in conditions of 50% and below. Avoid hard knocks to the measuring tool and dropping it. After severe external influences and in the event of abnormalities in its functionality, you should have the measuring tool checked by an authorized Bosch after sales service agent. If you need a quick reminder, you can press the top right button when not scanning to bring up the help menu. This covers the majority of topics we've covered. So, in summary, the DTEC 200C is a highly precise scanner that, when used correctly, will allow for extremely accurate object detection and depth with material discrimination. And now that you understand how the tool works, the limitations of the technology, but also advice on what to look out for and what to overcome in difficult situations, you will find this product invaluable in your day-to-day -day trade. If there's anything that you're still unsure about, please feel free to re-watch the video or consult the instruction manual for additional information.